Hi guys, welcome to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you'll always be updated wherever I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel and if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to click on the press on the notification in today's video we are looking at the latest updates and we are looking at the latest development in qatar and it's all about the mandatory masks in closed doors for all people in qatar and for all children that are above six years of age according to the cabinet decision that was taken starting with effect today all your people should have masks on or it is mandatory to have the masks on according to according to according to the uh, the, the ministry of public health remember uh, as per, per, per the recent weeks there have been uh, uh, raising numbers of the covid 19 cases in qatar and this has prompted the ministry and the cabinet ministers to uplift what you call the masks uh, the mask uh, restriction to be mandatory and remember that all starting from today uh, 7th of july of 2022 the masks are mandatory to all people in qatar all people in qatar in the close uh, all people are moving to close places they must be uh, putting on the mask what are the closed places that we are talking about right now we are talking about closed places we are looking at what we call um, uh, places like healthy uh, care facilities for people who are going to go to healthy care facilities uh, centers you need to have the masks on we look at public transport systems for people who are using the public transport your mask should be on to avoid getting fined then workplaces when we look at workplaces we are definitely looking at people that have close contact with people uh, especially dealing with what we call customers the masks are mandatory and the masks should be on people who are going to the mosques now the masks are mandatory then we look at people who are using the gyms whatever kind of gym that you have to go to the masks are mandatory then also we look at shopping malls the masks are being the masks are being lifted on and it is mandatory for everyone to have the mask and what we call an a green a thrust. then we look at cinemas for people who are going to the cinemas to watch movies the masks are on all these closed places have been by now that they should strictly have what you call the masks on and also should have what you call a green atlas to have to have what you call entrance in those uh, closed places that is according to the ministry of public health and the decision that was taken remember and when the number of the newly covid cases in qatar are rising and uh, that is in the recent weeks and not only in qatar even the world grappling there was a need there was a need to to uplift the make to uplift the covid 19 restrictions to see that all the community at large and even people can try to stop the spread of uh, the spread of um, the the, uh, the covid 19 or the virus from uh, one person or from uh, one area to another that is according to the ministry of the public health however the ministry stresses that it is not going to be only the masks that are going to be mandatory however also some other precautionary measures should also be undertaken into consideration to see that they can add to one way of stopping the transmission and the spread of uh, the covid 19 the ministry says that the members uh, should also play a role in getting vaccinated especially those that have not gotten the vaccine and have not gotten the booster dose they should definitely visit the nearest health center to get the booster dose vaccine also the ministry argued that those people that have not taken the second uh, vaccine and uh, the first vaccine that has six months after the both definitely have to go back and take another uh, uh, second dose of the vaccine depending on which vaccine that you took first if it's Pfizer or Moderna, you definitely need to go back and take the vaccine. That's why the, the, the vaccine, that's why as recent, remember we had the latest updates uh, that was still coming from the Minister of Public Health and that was regarding the travel, the travel out of Qatar for the Hidi and Doha festivals or for all vacations. And the ministry was requesting that all people going out of Qatar should make sure at least they have a booster dose vaccine taken to make sure that their body are equipped with the immunity to fight against the virus or to fight against the COVID-19. 
and also to stop the spread of the COVID-19 in case they get into contact with the people in the community. However, the ministry also stresses that uh, the following, apart from the masks being mandatory, the following also should be taken in consideration to see that they can also stop the spread of the vaccine. One is that washing your hands regularly, uh, the ministry urges all members of the community and citizens and all residents in Qatar to or indulge themselves in washing hands uh, daily with water and soap or to continuously use what we call sanitizer as one way to spread the, stop the spread of the virus. Also, to avoid what you call the physical contact uh, when greeting other people, avoid what you call the physical contact. And also when you look at the physical contact, it will include hugging, it also include handshaking, and it also include what we call kissing. Also, the ministry urges people to follow the etiquette and using the cough, what you call the cough etiquette uh, by using your sleeve to cover your nose and mouth when coughing. Also, the ministry uh, still further uh, uh, advises people to avoid gathering in what you call crowded and poorly ventilated places uh, as much as possible as one way to try to curb the the, the, the spread of the COVID-19. Remember, the mandatory masks requirement for all citizen residents in Qatar yeah, is from effect today, 7th July of 2022. Also, the ministry urges people to download the Ethras application so that wherever they have to go to any closed place, they will definitely have to display that Ethras, which should also be with a green, which should be green with a golden, a gold uh, with a golden ring around. Remember. Uh, uh, remember, around 1.7 million people in Qatar have received what you call a booster dose. And also, the ministry urges that for people who are 50 years and above, you are eligible for fourth dose of uh, the COVID-19, and you can freely, freely visit all, any of the health center around to get what you call uh, the fourth vaccine, the fourth dose of the vaccine for people who are 50 years and age and also those people with what you call colonic diseases. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Let us try to protect one another. Let us try to protect ourselves also to protect one another from the daily COVID-19 pandemics. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation trying to give you all the updates. Uh, right now, I'm trying to shoot this video from out. I want to try to show you what it means to be in summer in these Gulf countries. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation.